All right, so you bought your, your tiny house. You did it, you bought it, it's in contract, but you didn't get a solar package on it. And you want to be able to generate some power from the sun shining every single day, right? Why not take advantage of that power if you've got some sun on your property? Well, I got some good news here for you. As you can see, I've got some solar panels here, some aftermarket uh, type system where if you didn't get the panels installed on the roof, you didn't get the solar charger and inverter built in and the battery built into your tiny house, I've got an option for you that may be of interest where you can actually add a system that's mobile that you can take it around with you. You can charge it in your car. You can charge it with solar panels. You can charge it with an all with a, with a grid and with a wall outlet. Um, and you can take it in and out of your tiny house. You take it camping with you. You could just, you know, lend it out to somebody if you wanted to move it around. It's a very mobile solution and it's a pretty good price for it as well. So let me share with you the solution that I've found that I've, that's working for me right now for this tiny house that I've got behind me, the RJO, uh, which is going to be my sales office here at the cottages at Pine Lake. So here we are in the inside of the tiny house, the RJO 8x16 by Incredible Tiny Homes. And this is the solution that I've got to, to uh, generate power for me here in this essentially off-grid setup currently, as there's no power to the property. So in the meantime, until we get our power all set up and connected and all these lots are functional, we've got this uh, 2000 watt EcoFlow solar generator. And I've got two extra batteries connected to it, which are also 2000 watts each. So I've got a total of 6000 watt solar generator here. Now, let me explain some of the benefits, some of the things of why I really like this uh, solar generator. First of all, as you can see, I've got my, a phone connected to it, and that's my internet. That's my hotspot. So basically, I can keep that phone plugged into it nonstop to keep a, a, a reliable internet connection while I'm gone. That's just an extra line that I have set up. And, um, you know, it's got, I don't know, 100 gigs or whatever. And so it basically, can I can operate all my security cameras. I can operate my uh, weather station. I can, I, can main, I can keep an eye on this particular unit as well see how much power I'm generating, see how much power I'm using, how, how, what, the, what the state of charge is on the battery. I can even turn outlets on and off with the app. So if the heater if the heater on or something and I see the battery's getting low because there wasn't enough sun one day, I can press the button, boom, disconnect the heater. Uh, you can disconnect the USB outlets, you can disconnect the 12 volt outlet, and you can disconnect the uh, AC you know, 110 volt outlets. So uh, let me do a little deeper dive with you here. I'm gonna turn this camera around. Okay, so as you can see, this is a functional unit. It's not for display. It's not just something I pulled out of a box, whatever. This is actual unit I've been using now for several weeks now, and I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Again, it's the EcoFlow Max 2000. They have a couple different versions. I think there's a 1000 watt version and a 500 watt version, but if you're going to use this to power your entire home, you kind of want to get the biggest one. And this is, they also have a pro version that's even bigger than this. I think it's maybe 3,300 watts, something like that. Um, but I think for a tiny house, this is, this is ample with the 6,000 watts. But anyway, let me go ahead and dive into some of the features here. As you can see on the front of the screen, one of my favorite parts about this is that at a glance, you can see exactly what's going on. You don't have to pull out a calculator and try to figure out what's my state of charge, how much battery do I have left, how long is it gonna last? It tells you all right here from the screen. So for example, right now, it, because the, the, uh, uh, I've got the solar panels connected, I've got 800 watts coming in and 700 watts going out. So, and it's because it's during the day, the sun is shining right now. So at this rate, basically this battery will last for another 99 hours. Now, of course, the sun's not going to continue shining for that period of time. So it's going to drop off pretty quick once the sun goes down, but it's nice to be able to see exactly at a glance, you know, the way you're currently running. If you maintain this as it is, it'll show you for exactly how long it's going to run for. In fact, let me give you an example. I'm going to turn right now this heater, as you can see, it's, it's got 700 Watts going out. I'm going to flip it on to 1500 Watts. So you can kind of see the difference. Now, even with, the, even with uh, that much power coming into it, so it's drawing power from the solar panels and from the extra batteries, that this battery will go at, with 1,500 watts of power coming out of it for the heater, that it's only going to last for six hours, right? Right now, it's at a 94% state of charge. So, and it, you know, it's got a very smart computer. It's connected to the extra battery, so it, it's got all that calculated into it as well. But at a glance, you can see exactly how long your, your power is going to last for and what your state of charge is and how much, how much power is coming in and how much power is going out. Again, it has a Wi-Fi indicator on there as well. You can connect it to Wi-Fi and the app is very good as well. I'll show some screenshots of the, of, the, uh, uh, of the app on the phone so you can kind of see what you can see and control, turn on and turn off from the uh, phone itself. Now here's some of the outlets that you've got on there. You've got six USB outlets, four just the regular USB-A that most people are familiar with and now the newer kind of USB-C, which some computers will run off of and like the new iPhone 15 runs off of and uh, some other, I think some Google phones and whatnot, uh, use that USB-C outlet. You can get up to hundred Watts coming out just from the USB right there. And on the backside, you've got six uh, 
120 or 110 volt outlets. Let me show you that. So there's the back side of the, of the uh, unit. You can see there's six 20 amp outlets. And in fact, you can see um, I've got my heater plugged into this Wi-Fi device so I can actually turn it off remotely uh, using that device as well if I want to just isolate that one circuit. Otherwise, you can turn all six of them off with the actual unit itself. Um, so you've got six outlets on the back for 20, uh, 20 amp, 110 volt. And uh, this is how you can charge it. You can charge it. As you can see right now, it's got a, a DC plug in there, which is connected to the solar panels. You can also use that same uh, outlet to plug into a car and you can use your car's 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, to actually power the, to recharge the battery bank if you like, if you're taking it mobile. And in the middle there, the three prongs, you can charge it you know, from using the grid, just plugging it in. If you have a grid source to plug into, that's a fast way to charge it. And it'll charge the entire battery bank, I believe in something like two hours. So uh, you know, if you do end up using all your, your battery down and you can find the grid somewhere, you can recharge really quickly and get those 2000 watts uh, you know, going pretty quick again. Um, here's another thing I want to tell you. Oh, and there's a, the 12 volt outlet on the bottom there. If you wanted to plug in some 12 volt uh, devices, maybe you've got a 12 volt charger for your cell phone, you can plug it in there. Or if you've got a fan or a radio or something, you could also use that 12 volt for that as well. Now you can see I've actually got a 20 amp circuit or uh, plug in the back there, that yellow cord. So you can see that yellow cord that's basically a 12 gauge wire for a 20 amp circuit that I created. It's basically just an extension cord. It plugs into the back of the unit, 20 amp, and uh, goes to the actual electric panel, which is right here on this RJO unit. So basically, normally these homes are powered by a 30 amp circuit. I just basically connect, disconnected it in the, in the uh, electric panel and instead plugged in this extension cord. And so now instead of having to plug in a 30 amp uh, cord outside, I can use a 20 amp cord in the back of the solar generator and now the entire home is powered by this solar generator right here so that's pretty neat to be able to do something like that so all the lights in here work the fan um, uh, basically all the outlets in the wall everything is running off of this solar generator so again one of the nice things about this unit as well is how portable it is i mean literally you just pick this thing up it's got handles on both sides where you just pull out all the cords turn the unit off by holding that button down there at the bottom and you can just throw this in the back of your car Throw it in the front of your car, you'll start charging with a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter in your car while you're driving. Um, or, you know, if you're camping or whatever, this is a very mobile unit, very portable. So you can kind of take it with you and go wherever you please. And those batteries, like I said before, you can actually disconnect those and you can have a 4,000 watt system, 6,000 watt system, or have no extra batteries and use the 2,000 watt system as it is just on its own, just this one particular unit. Normally, again, you'd have to have a solar charge controller, solar charger inverter and you have to have a separate battery. So you have multiple devices, multiple wires, all that kind of stuff. This is an all-in-one unit, so everything is inside this box. All you gotta do is plug and play. You take your, your, your device, whether it's a 110 normal out appliance, you can plug it in the back, or if it's a USB device, you can plug it in the front, very simply. You plug it in, it starts working, and tells you exactly how much load is on the system. So you can see exactly what your, what your uh, appliances are running by just plugging in one at a time. You can take your refrigerator, for example, plug it in the back, and it'll tell you here's exactly how many watts are, 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 are put on the system. You can uh, put in a couple of different USB devices and see how much, in fact, the app will show you every single, every single device, how much the output is for each device on USB. And then um, for, for charging purposes, again, I just leave this whole unit right here because it's connected to solar panels. You can see the cord right there. I have it just kind of, again, roughly set up right now. So it comes out the, bo out the bottom, goes out the window, but you could put a hole you know, in the side of the house and run it and run some conduit or something and run it out the side if you want a cleaner look. This is just temporary. So for a temporary solution, this works great for me. And um, I'll show you the solar panels here in a second again. All right, so we talked about the solar generator. Now let's talk about the solar panels, which are obviously devices that add power to your system, to your battery, so you can actually use them inside, right? The sun generates the power to the panels and connects to your battery and uh, boom, you've got power. The, the solar panels are actually very simple. There's a whole lot of technical stuff you can get involved with, but I would suggest to keep it simple, just go ahead and buy the 100 watt panels that EcoFlow, the, the same manufacturer, sells. They're some of the most efficient panels out there. They're real easy to work. They send them to you in pairs of, of uh, 200, so you can get 200, 400, 600, 800, or 1200 like I have here. And uh, basically all you do is connect them together with these MC4 connectors. It's just plug and play. So that's why I went ahead with these uh, solar panels. They work really well. And they're really easy to set up. I mean, these right now, I've just got them basically bolted together. You can find some kits online. Amazon is where I found most of the stuff. And you bolt it together. 
And if you're trying to figure out, well, what's the angle or what direction, there's a really cool tool that EcoFlow sells as well. I'll show you. Makes it real easy. You see this little device right here on the end? You basically want that little black dot in the very center, and that's the most efficient, most use of sun that you're going to be able to get. So I'm going to get out of the way here so you can see it actually work in, in uh, real life. So you can see where that black dot is. Let me get you closer here. So it's a little bit off, so it's it's at a 20 degree angle. So if I were to move the panels a little bit, I could get an even better power generation by aiming this directly at the sun. Again, keep in mind the sun's going to change throughout the day. So if, unless you want to be out here every hour kind of changing your solar panels around, you kind of just pick due south and uh, there's a certain angle depending on the time of year. And you just kind of set it and maybe you change it, you know, once a month or every couple months. You know, it just kind of depends on how active and how many panels you've got and how much power you need to generate. So uh, and the solar panels are pretty easy. Uh, they're all pretty standard, um, you know, solar panels, a solar panel. Again, the effic efficiencies are a little bit different. Um, there's a couple different, you know, techniques. But if you're just getting started, uh, you don't need to worry about all that kind of stuff. Uh, again, I would just go ahead and buy the EcoFlow ones because you know they're going to work with this system. And I believe it'll take up to either 1,000 or 1,200 watts of solar, solar panels you can put together. And they're really easy to put together. If you're not familiar with how solar panels work, they're just these MC4 connectors. Again, you can buy them on Amazon. They're very generic. You just, it's just plug and play. You got a splitter down there, and you just basically connect one to the other to the other. Now you've got two arrays. I've got one array on that side, six panels, and six panels on this side. So it's a 1200 watt system here. So uh, anyway, they work real well. Um, you know, even when it's cloudy, I'm still generating a little bit of power, not very much, but enough to kind of keep the, keep the, some power on top of the uh, solar panels on top of the battery. And so you really can't mess it up too much. I'll show you. So here you go. Basically, I've got two. I've got two arrays here, two 600 watt panels. So I got a splitter. This is coming from the solar generator. Okay, it splits into two, and then this side goes to the one panel. This side goes to the other panel, and then and this is the hot. Then you got the ground. There's it's DC, right? So there's only two wires. So you got the negative right here. One wire goes to the panels over here, on the left, and the other the other wire goes to the panels on the right. And then all you do is you just connect all the panels, and I'll show you. You just connect them all together. So here's how difficult it is to wire these together. You literally take the wire that comes out of one and connect it to the wire on the other. And you just string them all together, positives and negative, positives and negative, positives and negative, all the way down. And then you take the last one and connect that to the original wire that I talked about, to the splitter that goes to the actual solar generator. And then the other wire is the positive that goes on the, to the other wire, connect it all together, and you're done. You don't, you don't need any tools. You don't need any special information about it. You just basically plug it all together. And they have guides and instructions and all that kind of stuff. I just want, for those people who may be intimidated about how solar panels work, they're actually very straightforward and very simple. You just got to get a few things right. That's why I suggest go ahead and, going ahead and getting this system, the solar generator by EcoFlow, because they have the panels and a very easy to use uh, system where it's literally plug and play. So you take the solar generator out of the box, you set it up, you turn it on, you plug in the wire that goes to the solar panels, connect the solar panels together, and boom, all of a sudden, you start having solar power being generated. It's that simple. Um, so if you, don't, if, if you didn't get solar panels on your tiny house, if you didn't come fixed and you wanted to have some kind of a solar option to maybe offset some of the grid usage because you can just plug it into the grid directly and your battery can charge you know, in combination of the DC and AC at the same time. So it can be, you know, it'll start using the power from the sun and then when the sun's not shining if you're still using it and you're connected to the grid then it will use the grid but that way you kind of will minimize uh your grid usage and you'll maximize the free solar usage here and of course alabama we do get a lot of sun now this property again only phase two this is going to work on because there are trees and the rest of the property but if you wanted an off-grid uh type setup you wanted to have a solar system working we do have a few lots left available here for your tiny house here at the cottages of pine lake so go ahead and email me, support at gotinybefree.com. I can get you more details on that. But uh, again, even if you don't have a tiny house and you just want some backup power source to have a simple plug and play solution that you can throw in your car, charge it in your car, um, take it out camping with you, take it out, you know, uh, just to the park or just to go, just have some extra power. You, you know, all these devices we have these days, iPads and tablets and phones and headphones and I mean, everything, TVs, they don't use a lot of power, but they do use power. And uh, you want to have some kind of a system 
that you can rely on that's easy to use, especially in an emergency, you can just turn it on and it works. You have to remember, I got to plug this over here and I got to get the calculator out and figure out how much, you know, volts and how many amps and all that. It just works. Shows you at a glance how much is how much power you got left, how long you have left, and what the load is and how much is being charged. And you can add more panels if you want more charging. You can take panels off or you can charge it multiple different ways. So it's a great system. Again, I recommend it. I've been using it for several weeks now. I was in California for, uh, for about a week. This thing was still charging and, and running. I ran some Christmas lights on about 150 watts, uh, you know, for several hours every single day. I was gone for a week and the system worked great. Kept charging it up, didn't use the power at night, charge up during the day, use it at night. So everybody who was driving by could see all these great Christmas lights here on the property. Anyway, Hans Schaff here, Go Tiny Be Free, the cottages at Pine Lake here, and uh, just wanted to wrap up this uh, solar generator review. Take care, I'll talk to you soon.